a more local news, a push to add religion classes to public schools here in Florida. State Representative Kimberly Daniels filed a bill that would require school districts to offer Bible study to high school students as an elective. Daniels founded a church here in Jacksonville and is known for her colorful remarks. She once thanked God for slavery. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joining us live this morning. And Ashley, to be clear, students would not be required to take these classes. It would be an elective, just something they had access to. That is true. The key word here is elective, meaning students would not be required to take these classes, but if they wanted to take them, they could. Now, we've spoken to people in the community for their take on this. As expected, we got some mixed reaction. When you think of all the electives a high school student could take, band or computer class might come to mind. But if a newly proposed bill passes in the Florida legislature, that list would expand to include religion and Bible study. Erin Paternoster's daughter is in high school. To have kids, especially high school aged children, to allow them to make different choices and learn things that they're interested in um, is a good thing. The areas of study include, but wouldn't be limited to, Hebrew scriptures plus the Old and New Testaments of the Bible. It also calls for the classes to be included in the Education Department's course code directory. The bill also says courses must follow state and federal guidelines, meaning they couldn't favor, endorse, or show hostility toward a particular religion. Gary Bohannon isn't against it. In this time, controversial, but I'm, I'm not opposed. Not everyone is sold on the idea of religion being included in school curriculum. It's everyone's religion has changed since back then, and not everyone's views are the same. If they would just offer it, you know, as like maybe a little club or a little get-together after school, like that would be fine. But And this bill also calls for brief meditation time. Now, we also reached out to State Representative Kim Daniels. She filed the bill, of course. She has not called us back as of yet, but if this did pass, it would go into effect in July ahead of the new school year. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.